All right, now the chi-square test of independence has two assumptions. One is that we collected our data as a simple random sample, uh, probably a assumption that you're going to have violated because we did not do any real random sampling here. Um, but we can check the other assumption, which is that all of our expected counts must be at least five. So if you go into the options for your test, and this is just back to that contingency table menu, one of the options you can choose is expected count. This will let you check to make sure all of your expected counts are at least five, which is your requirement. So if we compute this in parentheses, you're going to see all the expected counts. And in here, the smallest expected count is 10.92, so our assumption is met. So when you're doing the um, discussion board that you need to post in, uh, for your relationship for that big chunk of points, those 30 points, you're going to want to provide this to say, look, I checked and we're good. Uh, they're all greater than five. Or I checked and there are a couple that are less than five, but I proceeded anyways with caution. Um, the nice thing is if you do anything where you don't have these numbers, it will actually give you a warning out. It'll say uh, less than 20% of, of your cells have this. So anyways, um, I don't want to see this on a slide because it's confusing what's in the parentheses, um, but I definitely want to see it in the relationship uh, post to show that you actually did check your uh, assumption that we had an expected value of at least five in each of the cells.